Will Villa Vi Residences' new ship be ready in time? The upcoming luxury residential cruise line is making waves in the cruise industry with its upcoming launch of a new cruise line and world cruise. However, the company's decision to share behind-the-scenes footage of the ship's extensive renovations has sparked debate among cruise enthusiasts. The older ship was acquired from Fred Olson Cruises and is currently undergoing a massive overhaul, with workers rushing to refurbish everything from the engine systems to the cabins and public areas. Villa Vi Residences has launched a YouTube series documenting this process, giving viewers an unprecedented look at the efforts to transform the vessel. While some see this transparency as a sign of the company's commitment to delivering a top-notch product, others question whether exposing the behind-the-scenes rush to prepare instills confidence or raises more uncertainty about the cruise line's readiness for launch. The recent departure of popular cruise YouTubers Griff and Alyssa, who were originally slated to be on the inaugural sailing, has only added to the doubts surrounding the expected state of the ship and its offerings at launch. Villa Vi Residences has indicated they do not want any media on board during the first sailings. This explanation has done little to quell the concerns of some cruise enthusiasts who view the move as a potential red flag, suggesting that the company may not be confident in the ship's readiness for the scrutiny of influential media personalities. The cruise line is currently running a contest giving away segments for the cruise. One must wonder if the winner needs to agree to not post publicly about their experience. As the launch date draws nearer, all eyes will be on Villa Vi Residences to see if the company can deliver on its promises and provide a truly luxurious and memorable experience for its residents-turned-cruisers. Whether the behind-the-scenes glimpses ultimately inspire confidence or raise more questions remains to be seen. Let us know in the comments, do you think this helps or hurts a brand's image?